The North Norfolk coastline spans 42 miles. North Norfolk District Council manages from Kellinghard in the west to Cart Gap in the east. The Norfolk coastline has been eroding since the end of the last ice age. And this is due to three factors. Firstly, the geology of the cliffs. They're composed of soft sands, silts, clays and gravels. The soft sands, silts and gravels are easily eroded. Secondly, the land has been sinking in East Anglia since the end of the last ice age and now sea levels are rising. And finally, the cliffs have a naturally high level of groundwater. This sparks movement and makes them unstable. They become vulnerable to slips and landslides. But a retreating coastline is not a modern problem. In the past, Norfolk's coastal communities were forced to adapt when tragedy struck. Then, in the Victorian era, the region grew in popularity among the wealthy. When frequent storms and landslides started to threaten their investments, they began to build defences. These were built in the most populated areas, which included the growing towns of Munsley, Cromer and Sheringham. The rest of the coastline remained largely unprotected and the people adapted as best they could to annual winter storms. But then, in 1953, the east coast of England was hit by the worst natural disaster in modern British history. A storm surge took an estimated 100 lives in Norfolk alone and communities were devastated. The severity of the destruction left by this storm prioritised the building of defences along most of the coastline. These defences included sea walls, groins, revetments, rock armour and gabions. However, coastal protection has come at a cost. Delaying cliff erosion with the construction of hard defences in some areas has reduced the supply of material getting to the beaches in areas further down the coastline. As a result, beach levels have fallen. Smaller beaches mean less space to dissipate wave energy. This increases the exposure of any defences to wave action which shortens their life and the cliffs behind are more likely to be reached by destructive waves. In 2012, North Norfolk District Council adopted the current shoreline management plan to align with central government policy. It divided the coast into policy units. Three estimated erosion epochs were outlined for each unit. They show where the coastline is predicted to be by 2025, then by 2055, and finally by 2105. Each unit has been given a management policy for each time period. These policies consisted of hold the line, which means maintaining or changing the current protection standard, managed realignment, which is an adaptive measure that allows the coastline to move naturally, and no active intervention. This means withdrawing any investment in coastal defence, but it does not mean withdrawing investment in the area. Due to the rural nature of the region, only the larger settlements in North Norfolk have hold the line policies in the medium and the long term. North Norfolk District Council would like to work with central government and local communities to develop adaptation initiatives that protect our coastline and the people living here.